everybody, Mike here with Flipping Goodies. Today is Wednesday, and I've been slacking on videos because it's just been insanity over here. I'm trying to do so many different things at once that it's really starting to become a real mess. But I wanted to show you, I did um, one of my private estate sale picks the other day, and I'm going to show you a few things I'm picking up strictly for um, Walmart and hopefully this all works out so i've been selling a lot of vhs's and dvds and cds on walmart working out really well um i just sold one today um star wars i think it is for 24.99 so you know if i can pick them up for a buck or two that's all a great profit um so i have i spent four hundred dollars this is like a bin of like old uh, cameras and weird stuff. I haven't even gone through it. Um, if you saw it, if I would have kept the video, it got corrupted. I was just like, I'll just take all the bins with all the VHS tapes in them. So I have no idea um, if any of these are going to be any good or not. Um, I did see a lot of sealed stuff. That's why I just was like, I'll just take everything. Um, in here i got three banker boxes sitting back there whole bunch of um cds and these um anything that's sealed let's see like this one here i could sell this on walmart no problem um so i have to see exactly what stuff like this will go for um i just sold a uh Barbara Streisand live for $24 uh, yesterday. Uh, Hank Williams, is that sealed? Yeah, see, like a lot of this stuff is sealed. That's why I went for it. So hopefully stuff like this will sell, even if it's $9.99. Uh, Faith Hill, that one's not sealed. So, And then anything else beyond that, I will bulk up on eBay and sell it off that way. Or re-donate it or throw it in the garbage, we'll see. But there's so much of it. It was so many that was sealed. I just figured that it was worth the shot. Um, of course, the ones I'm pulling out now aren't. But you know how that goes. Here's one that's sealed. The Oak Ridge Boys 40th anniversary. Um, so again, I have to look all this stuff up. I know nothing about country. So I have probably... I don't know. I'm figuring there's probably... 70 per box so 210 of them or so um like i said a lot of vhs tapes which because i have the walmart avenue and anything that's new works out pretty well i will look into if i can sell used cds there um you can sell some certain certain things used so i gotta find out about that um then i picked up that's like three estate sales ago what the heck's in here don't even know what i got oh that's two estate sales ago that's clothing then i still have my hickory stick sitting in the box here which i did this on purpose because i want to get the rest of the stuff listed and then get to the good stuff so i figured it would drive me to list a little bit faster to keep some good stuff on the back end of this um some more vhs tapes three bins there some more dvds some odds and ends i don't even know what the heck's in there and that is a bread maker i think and the typewriter i got from now state so like i said i spent 400 dollars. i should easily get that money back I'm not concerned about it plus profit obviously because just getting your money back and miles to close up your business okay now more importantly you have to start looking at these mistakes ebay sellers are making and take advantage of them so what am i talking about right well if you sell anything on the larger size like i do like for example that printer those golf bags all of these golf clubs as you can see my golf club is 
really starting to dwindle down um, so I will be trying to source them again soon I always look for them but I'm only buying high-end stuff from here on out because um, I have a lot of junk in here that's probably never gonna sell I mean, it might but I doubt it um, I got hit with a return on one of my golf clubs, which I feel the guy swapped me out. Because I only had one of those clubs, and he's telling me I sent him the wrong five wood. And I have a problem with that. But, I had no choice but to take the return. Uh, this is still not listed here. And then, I have clubs over here. So, getting back to this problem, which I don't consider a problem, to be quite honest with you. Um, people are charging ridiculous amounts of money to ship stuff like this stuff like that like that like this and I'm sure I have plenty of other stuff even this stuff okay so most people I saw I got a message from one person saying how can you offer $14.95 shipping on a set of golf clubs when it's going to cost you about a hundred dollars to ship it and you're only charging 99 dollars for the set of clubs so my answer to him was i have a special discount that allows me to ship at a much deeper rate off than most people which we all know is bs but the truth of the matter is is that i've been shipping out golf clubs every single day of the week for the last like two months okay and not one of them has caught now this is single clubs has cost me more than the 11.59 i charge for shipping okay now they all go out ups i do have boxes uh 48 four by fours and 48 six by sixes that will handle any set of golf clubs i own okay i can either put it in the four by four or the six by six Single golf clubs will be anywhere from eight. Well, I think it's like eight eighty up to about eleven nineteen. I think is the highest I paid. And I remember, I'm in Florida, so when I get hit with something in Washington or California, it can hurt pretty bad. But UPS covers that, no problem. I actually shipped out a set of golf clubs the other day for i think it was like ten dollars and eighty cents and it was like i think it was eight pounds in a 48 by four by four so i just listed a beautiful titleist bag where most people were charging uh a hundred dollars for shipping okay so this is where you could take advantage of these mistakes so a golf club that bag goes for about three hundred dollars okay you tack on the hundred dollars shipping and it looks ridiculous and a lot of buyers I don't personally I wouldn't spend that kind of money on that but now I can I can jump in there at like let's say 340 and charge 1999 shipping because it maybe cost twenty four dollars somewhere around there but I'm still cheaper in the long run than the other people okay so and i feel like mine will sell faster so we'll see how this all pans out but i think that when you're comping definitely start looking at shipping on bigger items um and try and take advantage of that little window that a lot of these ebay sellers are leaving because for me and i think a lot of people would agree that when you see something that's going to cost you 200 and then a hundred to ship is ridiculous um even golf clubs you know i have a lot of clubs here that are only 25 dollars right so i buy this golf club for 25 bucks and you turn around and want to charge me 24 dollars to ship it i'm not buying this golf club i'm moving on they see my listing 24.95 11.59 shipping that's more reasonable they're gonna buy my golf club so keep an eye on how much people are charging for shipping on the items that you're using and go from there all right leave yourself enough room to cover your shipping make sure that you're correct on what you're doing once you're satisfied you're in the right zone 
just keep hitting that right there you know um i see a lot of people six dollars and fifty cents for first class items to me that's a little high i know that you can get hit pretty heavy now six dollars for first class on 15 ounces or so but why not weigh out your options and say let me come in at five dollars win some lose some theory you know um and you probably win more than you lose now if you find out that you're losing more than you win maybe up it a little bit but try and keep that shipping within reason if i'm buying let's say this cd for 5.99 and you're charging four dollars shipping on it it doesn't it doesn't equate you know so on on these cds i would probably do free shipping and just do like 9.99 across the board on you cds now i know a lot of them you're not gonna get that but again if i can get that avenue through walmart i will get that money so we'll see how that all pans out so anyway to recap keep an eye on other people's shipping charges it may help you increase the profit per item that you're selling in that same category so in the long run that should help your business grow a little bit and also increase the amount of sales that you're getting right now with the summer slowdown um, hopefully that will all work out well for you and help with the sales um, Trying to think of what the heck I need. I need something. I always do this. I come over here and I forget something. Um, anyway, till next time, which I'm going to do a video on. Um, I watched a video the other day, which, in my opinion, was way off base, which that's my opinion. Um, but I did a video a couple of years ago on uh, how to increase national international sales. So I'm going to do another video on that and walk through because i need to update my stuff anyway so i'm going to walk through all my policies and we'll take a look at those and see how you can get um much higher sales using international shipping so we'll do that next and we'll see you next time thanks for watching